The time has finally come to say goodbye to the world's most well-known Pokemon trainer, Ash Ketchum. After 25 years of leading the Pokemon anime series as the leading protagonist and the face of the franchise, Ash has finally achieved his dream of becoming the very best like no one ever was. With his and Pikachu's victory in the Pokemon World Coronation Series Masters Tournament, yes, that's a very long name, Ash has proven that he is, in fact, the world's greatest Pokemon trainer, which means his story has finally come to an end. The transition to new characters for this long-running show will most likely be a bittersweet feeling for many fans of the series. Even if you haven't watched an episode in about 20 years. I haven't watched an episode in a long time. And when I found out, I like wanted to cry. <laughs> the adventures of Ash and Pikachu have entertained gaming and anime fans across multiple generations. And their final curtain call is sure to make even some of us mature gamers seek out a tissue to wipe away some tears and claim we're suddenly struggling with some seasonal allergies. For years, these characters have been building to this moment, taking us from Ash's humble beginnings in Pallet Town through a journey that has played out in countless gym battles and tournaments across multiple regions. It was a long, slow climb to the top of the mountain for this iconic pair. And as Ash and, and his Pikachu are finally going to ride off into a well-deserved sunset, it is only fair that we reflect on the path he took to get there. Well, I think one of the reasons that Ash's stories resonated with global audiences over the years is that nothing ever came easy for him. I mean, this poor kid may have been the central character to the story, but he lost more battles than he won. I mean, he didn't simply receive his Pikachu and suddenly become a conquering hero. No. He, he had to grind through constant opposition, starting with very low-level Pokemon and their insufferable trainers who frequently upstaged him and forced him to grow and learn in order to advance. Ash was a protagonist who earned his way to the top spot by slogging through match after match in, in the shadows, many times losing over and over again until he learned the lessons that would help him move forward. Sure, at times it was painful to watch, and he was often his own worst enemy. Sure. A, a lot of the time it was his own fault yeah. that he lost. But it was through his fortitude to keep pressing through these repetitive, monotonous, sometimes boring battles that helped him achieve the goal he had set for himself many, many years earlier. And because he had remained faithful and fought through those smaller private challenges far from the limelight of a cheering audience, he finally had his moment on the grand stage, a moment that he was finally ready for. In our video games as well as our real lives, a very similar pattern exists. The hero's journey may seem to promise excitement and adventure, but shortly after receiving our mission, we are immediately asked to go clean out a basement filled with rats or deliver a random letter to someone in another city. Well, I don't know why there's so many rats in all these people's homes. Okay. For hours, we grind through less exciting quests that don't seem to have a lot to do with the main story arc. You know, finding someone's lost horse that may be a kind thing to do, but I'm not sure it's going to stop the imminent nuclear meltdown that I was sent to prevent in the first place. In many of these instances the game won't even allow us to move forward until we've spent some time performing these mundane and seemingly disconnected tasks but while these small battles may not seem to have a purpose connected to our calling to save the world they do have a deeper purpose that is essential to the success of our journey these small battles take many different shapes and forms from our real world, from cranky automobiles to challenging coworkers, from personal health struggles to persistent relationship issues. And when we feel compelled to move forward in our lives and take on bigger challenges and higher level missions, we can often resent these annoyances and complications that we are being forced to grind through. And in many ways, we may feel they are the things that are preventing us from achieving our destiny. Sure. I mean, many times, I know I've been guilty at looking at some of these unpreventable situations in my life, mm -hmm. these constant you know, thorns in my side that, from my view, are restricting me from becoming the best version of myself and achieving the goals I've set. I tell myself if I only had more money, maybe less back pain, more time, less distractions, better tools. But the reality is... These small things that I'm currently battling with are pushing me closer to my destiny than I realize. These are simply the, the local gym battles that I must successfully endure if I want to be trusted with the stadium battles that await me. You know, in Matthew 25, 
Jesus shared a parable about the importance of being faithful in the small things, mm -hmm. comparing the kingdom of heaven to a group of servants who are entrusted with some money to invest on their master's behalf. And while most of us focus on the story of you know the investment of their talents that they were given and the one that chose not to, there was something different that stood out to me the last time that I read this. I personally read the passage many times with the phrase where the master returned to check on them after a long time stood out to me more this time than it ever had before. The grinding seasons we experience always feel like the longest ones we endure, both in our video games in our, and in our real world. The amount of time we spend saving the princess and Mario is incredibly minimal compared to the exponentially longer amount of time it took us to run, jump, and squash hundreds of Goombas and Koopas to finally get there. All of whom were guarding the wrong castles. But when these two faithful servants reached the end of that very long wait in Matthew 25, they were rewarded for their faithfulness in a few things, being made rulers over many things. And this is the principle that we see in action for both Ash Ketchum's lengthy journey to Pokemon Champion, as well as the real world obstacles that we're facing. These little things that we're facing aren't preventing us from reaching our goals. They are our training ground. They are the places where we fight these smaller battles, proving ourselves faithful in the smallest of things, so we're prepared to bear the burden of higher level challenges. In our games, it is the seemingly tedious monotony of these grinding battles that we develop the muscle memory and the motor twitch skills mm -hmm. that we're going to need for the more challenging adversaries that await us. And while it may seem pointless at the time, it's often through the patient farming of assets at the beginning of our games that we build up our supplies so we can afford the game's richest treasures and most powerful items when we finally do uncover them. Throughout the Bible, those with the mightiest callings had to start with proving their faithfulness in small, local battles before they could bear the weight of the larger destiny they carried. Joseph was called with acting as the steward of a home and a prison from the inside before he was placed in a position as second in charge of the kingdom of Egypt. Long before David took on the giant Goliath to save his nation in front of the entire army, he engaged in some very private, no-holds-barred matches with bears and lions that were threatening his sheep. Now, the Apostle Paul, he spent three long years out of the spotlight, learning and teaching at a smaller scale before he emerged to begin his worldwide ministry. Even Christ himself chose to traverse the tiny region of Galilee before he took his show on the road to Jerusalem to face his grandest stages and speak to his largest crowds. But whether the Lord is preparing us, our prospective audience, or both, one thing is consistently true. It is only through these day in, day out grinding battles in these small and private places that our sword and shield capabilities are perfected. So I did there, Pokemon, sword, shield, that was pretty good. Ash spent over two decades chasing his dreams of becoming a world champion. And now that he's accomplished that, his time on the show is reaching its end. He was far from perfect. He was often brash and arrogant. He was often precocious. And sometimes he was just downright annoying. Sometimes. But as he pressed through those smaller battles and endured the rigorous journey without taking any shortcuts to the top, he slowly matured into the world champion he was destined to become. And as the story of Ash and Pikachu reaches its end game, we can take a look back over the decades of fighting and trying and failing and finally flying high and realize they didn't get there by accident. It was often messy, sometimes difficult to watch, but the small town boy from Pallet Town, he finally made it. Through years of training up lower level Pokemon, thwarting the constant escapades of Team Rocket and learning to not only be a great trainer, but a responsible one, he finally became the champion he was destined to be. And in our local, persistent daily battles with the challenges we face in our lives, the same is true. It is through proving ourselves faithful in these small things that our larger destiny will be revealed, one long, grinding gym battle at a time. So, so let's look at these small things that we're currently facing at some corner of our lives with a new sense of purpose today. The Lord didn't place these obstacles in our paths, but he will use them to refine us so we can successfully carry the larger destiny that he did design for us. They're not preventing us from becoming who we're meant to become. They're developing us into exactly who we were created to be. And if we will allow these battles to be used by the Lord to shape us, we can see value in the grind. 
even if it's still difficult to appreciate right now. It may take a few months, a few years, or in Ash's case, 25 long years. But by faithfully enduring these events, we will find the path to our destiny was in these battles all along. As Ash showed us through his journey from newbie to champion, it is in the culmination of pressing through each losing battle, grinding through each daily challenge, and being patient in the process that we prove ourselves faithful in the small things and realize that perhaps they weren't so small and pointless after all. They were the part that made this final victory possible and meaningful. So thank you for the memories, Ash. Now, if you don't mind, I think we both have a little dust in our eyes that we need to wipe. Oh,